What's up guys, in this video today we're going to be talking about ratchets. As you can see, I have a small portion of my ratchet collection laid out here. Yes, I am a ratchet addict, I admit it. Um, I just kind of want to cover some stuff about pros and cons of ratchets and get your guys' opinions and see what you think about ratchets. So today, let's cover these. All right, guys, like I mentioned in the intro, I am a ratchet addict. I should be going to some kind of therapy probably to cover that because I am kind of a ratchet snob. Um, I've got tons of different brands of ratchets, as you can see here. It's quite an array of different kind of ratchets and style of ratchets. Um, I do have certain preferences that I prefer in ratchets. And that's kind of one of the things I wanted to cover today is just kind of get your opinion and what you feel like makes the best ratchet and what feels best in your hands because obviously ratchets is a personal preference. All of them are a little bit different. They're weighted different. They feel different. They have different types of finishes, different types of handles, different contours. But at the end of the day, what makes the best ratchet in your opinion? So obviously I've kind of got them broken up and two different categories. We got comfort grip over here. We got hard handles over here. So, <clears throat> you know, that'll be kind of the first question is, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer hard handles? Do you prefer comfort grip? Or are you kind of like a mixture of both? Because obviously some jobs are really, really dirty and you may not want to use comfort grip. You know, um, I like the comfort grip. Obviously, I own way more comfort grip, but you know, that's just a personal preference. Everybody's got it, you know. As far as the hard handles go, you know, I've got several different styles here, as you can see, <clears throat> the way these are made. This is a SK with a Nerlin. This is the hard plastic snap-on handle. This is kind of a unique design here by Wright, sort of a square square and round if that makes sense if that's a thing but that's what that one is and then i've got the gear wrench here and the snap on here and you can see how the contours are really really similar to each other in the way they're made um the grooves are a little different i know that's kind of a big thing kind of in my opinion and you can definitely see the difference in use between the two ratchets um you know i i prefer those little grooves in the bottom. I don't know why, it's just when I got it and working with it and using it in my hand, it just feels better than the smooth. So what's your opinions on that? Um, and also we have one that's completely different here. And this is the Nepros and completely smooth. It's got one little bitty kind of contoured groove cut in it, if you will and the little rubber ring, which that rubber ring will come off and that kind of sucks, but it will come off if you use it very much. Um, so that's kind of the hard handles and the basics there of, of the different styles that I have laid out for you guys. And I'm just curious of which style do you prefer and why? And you know, do you like the grooves in it? Do you not like the grooves in it? Whatever. Um, so we'll move over to the comfort grip, you know, this is one of those things where you either love it or you hate it. You know, some guys like it, some guys don't, Like I really enjoy the way the Matco Comfort Grip handle is. You guys know I own quite a few Snap-on and Matco, and we'll kind of cover the difference between those, and I'll kind of talk about <clears throat> the difference. I'm not talking about the head, just talking about the handles. Um, kind of the design that's went into these tools um, and why I, I like them. Um, and we'll kind of cover some of the shapes, if you will, um, on the two ratchets. So we'll start here with the Matco. You know, it's kind of got like a groove here where your finger would normally set, and it's got a groove down here. It's got a little swell out here that's pretty nice. Um, in my opinion, it's a really good feeling handle. Snap on, it kind of the same way. You know, it's got more of a I guess a straight up portion here 
where your finger lays. The pinky groove's not as deep and it's not as deep here. Um, still a great feeling handle in your hand. Now with that being said, the gear wrench falls right in there with these two in my opinion because I think they did a fine job when they designed the handle. Uh, I like the little step up here. As you notice, it's the same kind of the way Snap-on is with that little step up and they added the grooves in the rubber portion where Snap-on put the grooves in the plastic. Like I say, that's all personal preference, what you like. You know, they did sort of like the Snap-on, had the little flat part coming up here. Um, it has no belly, if you will. We'll call it a little beer belly. It don't have one, it's a flat belly. It'll get there eventually, just give it some time. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, that's, that's kind of the gear wrench handle design. You have the Mac handle design, which has really no taper. It's just straight off the end. It's got a little bitty tiny baby beer belly. Maybe it just started drinking a couple of months ago, but it'll get there too if it keeps it up. But you know, the way it feels in your hands, a lot slimmer profile than any of these other ones. Um, you know, it's just the way Mac designed it. So, you know, like I say, we're not talking about the heads. We're just talking about the handles at this point. So that's kind of some of the main players in the game, if you will, the Mac code, the gear wrench, the snap on and the Mac. Also like Vim took it a completely different direction and they put a round handle here, but it's got the flat spot. So, you know, it kind of grabs whatever surface you're laying in on. Um, it's definitely a unique design. It's completely different than any other ratchet handle kind of on the market, you know, but you know, that's the Vim design. Also, you have just like the rubber tube design, I guess, if you will. It looks like you just slid the rubber over a regular handle. <clears throat> and this is the Koken. Um, you know, it's a unique design, but it, I mean, it works. So, like I say, we're just talking about the handles. We're not talking about the warranty. We're not talking about the dealers. We're not talking about the company. We're not talking about the head. Just the handle design. Um, what's your thoughts on it? It's pretty obvious to know which one I prefer or which two I prefer. But, um, you know, what's your, what's your thoughts and designs? If you was going to make your own ratchet, which, where would you go with this? And the last part I'd like to talk about is kind of the fit and finish on a ratchet. You know, like, what do you guys like as far as a ratchet? Um, what do you feel like holds up better? What do you feel like? Um, is more appealing to your eye. Obviously, 99% of the ratchet companies on, in the world, you know, they, they go a couple of different directions. Most of them have shiny chrome or black or both, you know. Uh, Matco kind of took it a little <clears throat> different direction. You know, this one's really, really cool in my opinion. They call it nickel. I call it black chrome um, to me. It looks really, really good. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Um, the black looks good, but I know there's a lot of issues with it wearing off. I've got a black half inch ratchet that looks kind of chrome. You know, all the black wore off of it. It's not a bad thing, but you know, some guys want them to stay looking new and perfect all the time. And it is what it is. The black will definitely 100% wear off over time or do you like the satin finish like Vim has on there? Some people call it bead blasted. Some call it media finish, satin, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of a duller, you know, uh, duller finish. You know, it's not the bright, shiny that you have like here with the gear wrench. But what finish do you prefer? Also, does tooth count really matter? Um, you know, like... When I look at all the ratchets that we have here, you know, and I, I, I feel different ratchets and I use different ratchets. When the 120 tooth XP gear wrench come out, I was super excited to get it. And to be honest with you, the, I think the 90 tooth is a 20,000 times better ratchet. It's just a stronger feeling ratchet. It feels better when you're using it. I'm just not a fan of the 120 XP. I've got the full set of them, and honestly, I don't like the ratchets, but 
you know, each one has their own personal preference. Some people like them, some people don't. Um, head design's another big thing. You know, they make a round head. I know you guys, I've got several of them, and I despise them. I hate using them. I don't even like to look at them. That's got the, you know, where it tilts back and forth. I call it a round head. Some call it a roto head. Some call it a swivel head. It's whatever you want to call it. Um, let me grab it for you guys that may not know, and that way you'll understand what I'm talking about. All right, so I went over the pile and I grabbed a couple of ratchets, but this is what I'm referring to. Like, I hate this ratchet so bad, I wish I'd never bought it. I'm not a fan of this style ratchet. I don't like it. I thought it would be useful. Um, I just find it's too wiggly, you know, and to each their own. There's guys that swear by these ratchets and they think they're the best thing on the world and everybody has their preference in ratchets. Like it's kind of like shoes, like one ratchet does not fit everybody. You know, and hopefully you guys understand that because I have a lot of people ask me, hey, if you was gonna buy one ratchet, what would you buy? Well, what are you working on? What are you planning on using it for? Like everything's different, right? And it's all what you prefer and what you like. Me, I hate this style. This is one of the tools that I wished I would have never ever purchased because I used it maybe twice and I absolutely despise that ratchet. So, <clears throat> you know, do you prefer the teardrop? Do you prefer the wider heads? <clears throat> you know, what's your opinion? Like, I just kind of want to know because, you know, I look at all these ratchets and, I, and when I open my drawer, I pretty much have two main style ratchets that I'm constantly going to. And <clears throat> when they even come out with a new color, I usually get it. You know, and I've kind of asked myself that before, like, you know, what is it about certain ratchets that you like other, you know, than other ratchets? And, you know, everything's personal preference. Also, do you like the quick connect, locking heads, whatever you want to call them? Most people call them quick connect ratchets or quick disconnects or whatever, whatever you want to call it today, but it's where you push the button, pull your extension or your socket off, let off the button and the bead locks back out so it holds your extension or your sockets on. Um, that's not a big a deal of, to me as, as a lot of the, 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 the pros and cons of ratchets. like. That's not a thing that's going to make me buy a ratchet or make me not buy a ratchet. Like, I don't really even think about that. But some people, it might. And the last part is lock and flex head or free flex head. Or are you just an old school straight head guy? And some of you guys may not understand what, you know, we're talking about here. Because I know there's a lot of newer guys that's watching the channel that may not be familiar, but obviously a fixed head, straight head ratchet, you can't do nothing with it, but what it is, it is what it is. The free flex ratchet, you know, will let you, these are normally referred to as flex head ratchets, bend them in whatever shape you want, and you go to town, go to work, and then you have lock-in flex, and there's different designs. This is the older snap-on style. They've got a new design now, but you pull it down, you push it over and it becomes a free flex or you can lock it in any position and it will stay there. So it'll go in any position that you want it to be in. Um, the Matco is kind of the same concept. This is my workhorse ratchet. This is the my go-to. This was the first of many of the Matco ratchets. Um, but it's got a great design in my opinion. If you see here, you flip this switch. Unlocked. It's kind of got like a little detent. Let me see if you can hear it. But you can flip this switch and you can lock it in any position. Um, just a really good design in my opinion. I like this style. But some people don't. Some people you know, they don't like this. I know Matco's got a new version that has the flip switch up here. Um, it's real close to the selector switch. I don't have one of those to show you guys, but um, what's, what's your preferred locking or unlocking? Um, I guess I should say locking flex or flex head or are you a straight guy? 
What's your favorite finish on a ratchet? Which handle design do you prefer? And if you decide that you like, you know, the hard chrome handles, do you like it with grooves? Do you, what would you change about it? Like, I'm just kind of curious because we have tons and tons of ratchets and I know most mechanics have a lot of ratchets as well. And it's kind of personal preference and it's kind of funny when I look through YouTube videos and I see different toolbox tours You'll see like, you may see a guy that's got 15 different versions of this ratchet, or you may see a guy that's got 50 of the hard handle, you know, regular chrome handles and two of the comfort grips. Or you may see a guy that's got 50 comfort grips and one or two of the hard handles. So it's just kind of cool to see kind of what guys like and what you prefer. And I just want to hear it because I know what my opinion is and I know what I like in ratchets, but what's yours? Anyway, guys, that's the video today. Hopefully, you got to see a little bit of ratchets and think about what you have in your box. Think about what you like to use and let me know. That's the video this week, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, it's the easiest thing you'll do. Take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great weekend and we will catch you later. See ya.